Hello, I'm Marjorie Harris Clark, and I wanted to show you um, how I use an angled shader, which is one of my favorite, well, two. <laughs> um, I use mostly the three, three quarter inch and the half inch angled shaders by Sharp, and I have painted a lot of furniture, and this is one, a couple of my methods for using this brush. First, uh, in, in loading the brush, I make sure it has enough water in it. If your brush is not ever moving, it's because it either doesn't have enough water or enough paint. And I load the brush um, by putting it into the middle co color and pull it away from the pile and turn it over and add more. Uh, the reason I use so much is uh, I painted a lot on ladders and I like it to be have enough for uh, several roses. Then the, the short end, the heel of the brush, goes into r the light, the darker, and then this is in the toe, and you blend that way. Now, you can't ever flip it over or it wouldn't work <laughs> unless you wanted it to be dark on both sides. You do it this way, and then uh, I'll even pick up a bit more of the dark and the light and move it up this way and down this way to get it nicely blended. Now, um, I'll just do paint a couple of rosebuds. The backstroke goes this way, and I blend out a few times, not just one hard stroke. The base of it is this way, over and down, over and down, like this. I don't pivot my brush at all, just like that. I'm going to do another one right here. The, the, the angle shader with the blending that way, you get such pretty. This is skin tone that I'm using. Um, I'm going to switch to the smaller angle shader. And um, this is another technique I use with it. I tip the tip of it in the darker and the base of it in the lighter color. Then I can actually draw with the tip and blend in the colors. I turn the brush right upside down that way or this way. And you can pull it down this way too. And the other thing it will make if you look do the tip of it in white and the bottom in green so you can make actual nice little leaf shapes put it down and pull it and down um, when uh, it has come to this point with the um, you can add a bit more of the dark color and add it to deepen even put a little bit on the things. The other thing I use an angle shader for a lot that I think is fun, um, let me take uh, some purple and some white like that, maybe a bit of blue too. Then you put the brush like this and turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. And turn it. And it makes a quite pretty, just spontaneous ribbon. But I find it to be a really flexible brush. One more touch to that and I'm done. I think these roses need just a little bit more white right there. This is just done with water and just the angle part, it depends on what color you put on the tip and the heel and that you blend it out. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.